Hello Stampers! Today we're going to be making a card uh, that I haven't made in a while and that's the spotlight technique and I thought this would be a fun one to do it with. I'm using the Birthday Goodness and this is the one I made. That stinking cute is so precious and so and that's the inside of it. What I thought we'd do, oh and also what I wanted to show you is I thought I didn't want to waste the part that you spotlight out and so I did what I'm going to call a reverse spotlight. And so now I have all of this and I'll have it out on my blog when I finish it. But I'm going to do some shading in here and uh, bring in my Wink Estella in the uh, other areas or maybe on here. I haven't decided yet. But uh, go out to my blog and you'll see the results of that one later on. So today what we're going to do, let me move this out of the way, is uh, we're going to be doing the one that has the French macarons on it, or macaroons, however you say it. And so um, what I've done is we'll stamp up the one, but I've got one of the uh, four by five and a quarters for the inside. And then I've got some of the seafoam green that I'm not sure how we're going to work it in or if we will work it in, but we'll see once I get it all printed out, but I had an extra piece I wanted to. And then we have the purple posy. So let's go ahead and get started on uh, putting this together because the coloring takes a little bit of uh, time and what I'll probably end up doing uh, for the coloring portion of it is speed it up quite a bit through it, but I will let you know what colors I'm using. All right, so let's go ahead and use our Tuxedo Black Memento and get us a impression here. And I do like to use my Stamparatus for this type of thing because a lot of times like that, I've, I've got a really nice pretty print the first time and I can go ahead and finish that up. So let's go ahead and do that and wipe that off and bring this over and I've got a second one stamped because you, you're going to want to stamp two of them. So let's put that over there. And uh, so here's the other one. So what I, this one seems to be just a tad bit darker. So I think I'll use this one for my uh, second one and we'll color this one real quick. And I've uh, put together quite a few different colors. I kind of looked at some of the French macarons and uh, to see what they, colors they seem to go in. And they were the pastel type shades and stuff. Um, I thought I'd do my roses first and I'm gonna use the, um, Let's see what I got here. Highland he Heather, I think it is. No, this is the dark and the um, purple posy and the light purple posy. So I think those would be real pretty done in some lighter shades, just kind of um, blending them in there. So let's go ahead and do that. And as I said, I'm going to go quiet now and we're going to speed this up so you don't have to sit through all my coloring. All right, so here's the coloring uh, done. And um, I, can't, I don't know if y'all noticed I picked up the wrong color. So it, you know, sometimes a goof kind of works out, but um, I had wanted to do this in the purple posies and are the seaside scape, I'm sorry, the seaside scape, just a, a small um, kind of a light pattern. And I had picked up some of the purple posies, so I mixed the two and I thought, ah, it looks good. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish with this technique now. What we wanted, I got some uh, randomly different shapes of the uh, round punches. This one's one and three eighths, this one's one inch, and this one is three quarter inch. And what I'll do is take certain portions of this and punch it out and line it up with this one. So I think what I wanna do is take the one inch, and if this piece, see how I can't get in like that? That's normally, and that's where you saw that one negative have a tear. I just kinda of give it a nice little tear so that I can use it again. 
And so what we're gonna do is go right in here and I think we're gonna use about that portion of the flower. So while I have it, I'm gonna go ahead and line them up. And I do um, definitely use Tombow glue with this because um, if you don't, you can't maneuver it well enough to get it in place. So I'm gonna move this over so I can see it a little bit better and hopefully I've got this still all out in the deal. But I kind of eye where I'm coming into and you want to be sure that it lines up exactly with your pictures. And so that's what I've done here is I've lined up the cookies and I've lined up this petal. See that little second line there? All of that is lined up now. I'm so just a tad, there we go, perfect. Okay, so you line that up and this is where that spotlight technique comes from. And while I have a second, I wanna uh, show you, uh, this one of our glitter queens at our retreat, um, Kathy, is the one who brought this as a pillow gift and we just all adore them. So anyway, I just want to kind of give her a shout out on that and tell her how much I appreciate it and I'm using it all the time. So I want to come in, I think on this side, if I can get over there. And again, we're going to have to give it a little bit of a tear. And always when you're tearing, you want to tear towards you so you get that nice little rough side on one side of it. And I want to come in here because I kind of like what happened with the color. And I think I'm going to take about this portion here out. Okay. And we'll line it up right. I'll kind of show you how it's going to do is we're going to bring it in and line it up right there. See how pretty that is? Okay, so let's go ahead and place our little bit of adhesive there so that we can go through it. All right, so let's bring this on down here to match where we were there. Make sure you line up. I had a little line here that I was looking at and the other part of it will usually whenever you find your spot like that, the rest of it just kind of lines up there and there we have. So I think we need something over here to bring a little bit of color in there. So. I think we'll just take one of the uh, smaller ones here. And why don't we just kind of go in the center of it? That might be kind of fun. Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay, so we're gonna line it up here in the center once I find my spots here. Cause it is, you know, when you do this, you do cut into different pieces. So you have to kind of make sure where it is. And I like to, give it a little bit of a dry fit and look at how I had my coloring here because it was uh, the green and the blue. So I'm actually up a little bit high. That's why it wasn't lining up real well. And that gives me some of the pink, the blue, bring it over this way and it's gonna be about right there. All right, so let's go ahead and put my adhesive on and see if I remember where it was. We were on the third row down, so that's what we're going to shoot for. So it's one, two, and the third one. And we were kind of, let's see where we were at here. Line it up where we're down just a tad into the other line. And right, right about There, excellent. Okay, so that's our reverse spotlight. As you can see, it's quick, it's easy, and it is fun for sure. So now let's go ahead and put us a quick greeting on it. Let me bring this back and then we'll lay it out and have our card done. So let's go ahead and pop this out and see what I did with my other one. Here it is. All right, so we're gonna line this up here. And I think what I want to do is bring it towards the bottom area and make sure you have everything lined up nice and straight. But I thought it would, let me bring this up here. I thought it would look good probably down in here. About like that. I think that would look real nice there. All right, let's see how it 
looks pretty straight there. I always like to look at this side because sometimes when you're looking at an angle, especially in filming, you're gonna find that you're further at an angle and it looks straight and then you do it and it's not straight. So let's hope that I got it this time. And I think we're gonna use the Highland Heather just to give it a little bit of uh, brightness to it because with us using the French kind of pastel look, it, I'm afraid one of those shades wouldn't be quite as uh, easy to read. Oh, that's perfect. See, it, it's just a gorgeous color within that. Okay, let's go ahead and stop there then and uh, pull our piece out. And for this one, we won't do an inside. I kind of showed you what the inside was of the other, and I'm gonna leave this one open um, because this can be used for not only wishing you heaps of happiness for an anniversary, it can be used for um, a birthday, uh, congratulations, you know, just all kinds of different things. So let's go ahead and leave it blank and that way I can use it for what I need it for at the time. All right, so we're going to this uh, piece is your five and a half by eight and a half. And if we were scoring, we would be scoring at four and a quarter and I'm just folding it in half, which is the four and a quarter. And then I wanna play around with, let's see what we've got here. And I may need to trim one of these down, but I was kind of thinking an offset uh, type piece here is what I was kind of going for. And that way we get kind of the three colors all coming out of it, and I like that. So uh, let's go ahead and do these two pieces together. I usually have my smaller, uh, I use my Tombow glue and put it onto my um, a small little squirt bottle that I use. This is it here. And I usually use that because you can see how much glue I kind of get glue happy there. And uh, so that helps me to stay in check, but I think this, this will work out good. Okay, I like that. All right, so let's go ahead and put on this bottom layer and we will have our card and stay tuned, like I said, at my blog uh, for the finishing touches on both of the, uh, what I'm gonna call reverse spotlight. And maybe that's, I haven't ever seen it, but maybe that's a actual thing that they do <laughs> that somebody else already created. And uh, if they did, great, whoever did it, I appreciate it. But uh, this is my first time for doing it. And like I said, didn't wanna waste any of it. So. Uh, this will go in the inside here when I'm ready to uh, stamp it. So here's this card, and let's bring in the other one. And then stay tuned for these two negatives here. So until next time, happy stamping and God bless. Mm -hmm.